Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to review a book named Automated Machine Learning on AWS that will fast track the development of your production ready machine learning applications the AWS way. So let's start the video. So agenda of the video is to tell you about the book, about the author, who this book is for, system requirements, what this book covers, things you will learn once complete this book, and my point of view. What is this book about? We know that AWS provides a wide range of solutions to help automate a machine learning workflow with just a few line of codes. With this practical book, you will learn how to automate a machine learning pipeline using the various AWS services. Automated machine learning on AWS begins with a quick overview of what the machine learning pipeline looks like and highlights the typical challenges that you may face when building a pipeline. So a little intro about the author. This book is written by Trenton Podgator. So Trenton Podgator is a senior AIML specialist at AWS and has been working in the field of machine learning since 2011. At AWS, he basically assists multiple AWS customers to create machine learning solutions and has contributed to various use cases. He has also actively been involved in leading, developing and supporting an internal AWS community of MLOps related subject matter experts. So who this book is for? This book is basically for beginners as well as experienced machine learning practitioners looking to automate the process of building, training and developing machine learning based solutions into production and by using the both purpose build and other AWS services. If you have a basic understanding of end-to-end -end machine learning process and concepts and little about the Python programming and little about the AWS concepts, then you can make the most out of the book. You will need a functional AWS account to run the examples. You will need Python 3.7.10 and above, AWS CLI 1.19.112 and above, and AWS CDK 2.3.0. It is recommended that you use a AWS Cloud9 integrated development environment as it meets the software, hardware and operating system requirements. You can also download the example code file for this book from GitHub link. Let's talk about what are the contents inside the book. There are 5 sections of the book which contains 11 chapters. Section 1 Fundamentals of Automated Machine Learning Process and AutoML on AWS Chapter 1 contains Overview and Getting Started Chapter 2 contains Automating Machine Learning Model Development using SageMaker Autopilot and Chapter 3 contains Automating Complicated Model Development using AutoGluon So what is SageMaker Autopilot? SageMaker Autopilot is an Amazon product and is a feature set that automates key tasks of an automated machine learning process. It basically explores your data, selects the algorithm relevant to your problem type and prepares the data to facilitate model training and tuning. Then what is AutoGluon? AutoGluon is a new open source AutoML library that automates deep learning and machine learning for real world applications involving image, text, and tabular datasets. Section 2 Automating the machine learning process with continuous integration and continuous delivery. This section includes two chapters chapter 4 and chapter 5. Chapter 4 is creating a CI CD pipeline on AWS, that is, the continuous integration and continuous delivery for machine learning that introduces you to the concept of continuous integration and continuous deployment and how specifically it can be applied to a ML use case. This chapter basically introducing the DevOps culture and highlighting how the DevOps process can evolve into a MLOps process. Chapter 5 Continuous Deployment of a Production ML Model 
This chapter introduces you to the typical task performed by ML practitioner within the context of a deployed CI CD pipeline and DevOps culture. This chapter will walk you through creating the model assets which trigger the pipeline execution and show you how to manage and monitor the progress. Section 3 Optimizing a source code centric approach to automate machine learning. This includes two chapters, chapter 6 and chapter 7. Chapter 6 Automating the machine learning process using AWS step functions. This basically highlights how the CI CD process can be further optimized by including the ML practitioner in the majority of the pipeline build process. This chapter shows how this can be done by introducing AWS step functions and the data science SDK for step functions. It will then walk you through how to integrate the data science SDK into the CI CD pipeline process. Then chapter 7 building the ML workflow using AWS step functions. This basically elaborates on the role and the task of the ML practitioner within the context of further optimizing the CI CD pipeline by walking you through how to build the codified ML workflow, perform integration testing on the workflow and deploy the ML model into production using the workflow. Section 4 Optimizing a data centric approach to automate machine learning this section includes two chapters, chapter 8 and chapter 9. Chapter 8 Automating the machine learning process using Apache Airflow. This introduces you to a data centric workflow, why its application to the ML process is important, and the team members normally responsible for executing this part of the process. The chapter elaborates on the common tools used to perform this function namely Apache Airflow and the Amazon managed service for Apache Airflow. The chapter will then walk you through how to build a managed airflow environment. Then we have the chapter 9, building the ML workflow using Amazon managed workflow for Apache Airflow. This will leverages the environment created in the previous chapter and focuses on the role and the task that the ML practitioner performed within the context of further optimizing the CI CD pipeline. The chapter will walk you through how to build the codified ML workflow, perform integration testing on the workflow and deploy the ML model into production using the workflow running on the MWAA environment that is Amazon managed workflow for Apache Airflow. Section 5 Automating the end to end production application on AWS. This section includes two chapters, chapter 10 and chapter 11. Chapter 10, an introduction to the machine learning software development lifecycle, that is MLSDLC. This introduces you to the MLSDLC methodology and explain why adopting this methodology for automating the ML based application. The chapter highlights the key success criteria for the MLSDLC implementation, the cross functional and agile team. It showcases this success criteria by walking through each of the team members role, how they interact with the other team and building the codified artifacts. Last that chapter is chapter 11 is that is continuous for. integration, deployment and training for the ML SDLC. This will walk you through the process of creating a self mutating CI CD pipeline using the CDK from the perspective of the platform engineering team. The chapter will then show you how to take the application from the test environment into the production environment to produce the production version of the overall ML application. And the last part of the chapter will focus on various tasks and procedures from this perspective of the data engineering team to essentially close the loop on the ML SDLC process. Things you will learn once complete this book. You will employ SageMaker Autopilot and Amazon SageMaker SDK to automate the machine learning process. You will able to understand how to use AutoGluon to automate complicated model building tasks. You will use the AWS CDK to codify the machine learning process. You will able to create, deploy and rebuild a CI CD pipeline on AWS. You will able to build an ML workflow using AWS step function and data science SDK. 
you will able to leverage the Amazon SageMaker feature store to automate the machine learning software development lifecycle. You will able to discover how to use Amazon MWAA that is Amazon Managed Workflow for Apache Airflow for a data centric ML process. My point of view is that this is really a good book. All I can say in summary is I have absolutely no hesitation in recommending this book. The author have done a fantastic job and there is something for everyone in this book. I highly recommend it and I must say buy this book who want to learn and enjoy the field of machine learning in automated way. So this is all that I had in today's video. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching this video.